I've edited thousands of raw photos while traveling abroad, including a remote location such as the Galapagos Islands, Easter Island, and the jungles of Sumatra. And I've used different brands of laptops over the years while editing and traveling abroad, including the Alienware 13 inch, which I don't recommend because it consumes a lot of power or battery life and it's pretty heavy. I've also used a Dell XPS laptop, an HP laptop, as well as a few different 13 inch MacBook Pros. But currently the best laptop for photo editing in my case and in my travel experience is the 16 inch MacBook Pro. This is a M2 Pro chip, which was released in 2023, I believe. And right now it has a skin on it, as you can see, but this is a 16 inch MacBook Pro. And there are a few reasons why I chose a MacBook Pro in addition to it to being a 16 inch screen. Of course, the benefit is the extra real estate that I have to edit my photos, including pixel creeping or pixel peeping, they call it, which is pretty much zooming in in different areas of a photo to make sure it looks good and there's no dust spots or it's not too noisy or it's not too blurry. The other thing, as you can probably see from my YouTube channel is I do a lot of video editing and the extra real estate on my screen really helps a lot. Unless I'm back home in Toronto, Canada, where I have my big screen, my Samsung S7, I think I have back home. And I use that usually hooked up to my 16 inch MacBook Pro while I'm at home. But while I'm traveling abroad, the 16 inch definitely helps with the extra real estate. And it just makes me edit my photos a little bit faster. The other thing is the XDR screen, the display and the rich colors that it produces. It makes editing photo a little bit more enjoyable or therapeutic, as well as watching a few Netflix movies. It's just a better viewing experience. Now, there are a few downsides of the 16 inch MacBook Pro. The main thing is it's bulky and it takes up a lot of space in your carry-on or your backpack. You usually have to find a bigger backpack or a carry-on with a dedicated laptop compartment to store the 16 inch MacBook Pro. I use a very old low pro travel backpack which can barely fit my 16 inch MacBook Pro. While I'm walking around with my laptop in my backpack, I can definitely feel the weight. My back does get sore a little bit, but it's worth it just for the extra screen real estate. The other thing is with it being bulky, editing at an airport or on a plane, it's very difficult. It's a little bit easier to edit at an airport, but on a plane, even if I'm flying economy or business class, it's just really bulky and it gets in the way. Sometimes I do wish I have a 13 or 14 inch laptop. Another thing is if I'm trying to work while I'm on my bed or just watching a movie, the bulkiness gets in the way, especially if you try to put it on your lap while you're editing on your bed, it's definitely uncomfortable. And why did I choose Mac over Windows for photo editing or video editing? Well, I've used Windows for over 20 years and I find like after a few years or sometimes even after one or two years of using my OS, on my laptop or even when I had a desktop that my Windows computer would get slower over time and I would just need to reformat it. And of course with Windows, I sometimes get the blue screen of death and I have to restart my laptop. And the last time I used Windows, which was over five years ago, it came with a lot of bloatware compared to Mac. So I just find Mac a little bit more cleaner and smoother to work on. And in addition, I don't need any antivirus software for my MacBook Pro which is a good thing just to make things a little bit more smooth on my MacBook Pro while I'm editing or video editing. I also enjoy the keyboard on my MacBook Pro. It feels really good, feels very natural while I'm typing or working on my blog, using Grammarly, writing a caption or so forth. When it comes to the minimum or recommended system requirements for a photo editing laptop, it's usually like eight gigs of RAM that you need and maybe at least 256 or 500 gigabytes of uh, hard drive space. But of course, being a photographer, having a lot of photos in addition to some videos, you're gonna need a lot more space than that. So my MacBook Pro, the M2 Pro chip, my MacBook has a RAM of 32 gigabytes and a hard drive of two terabytes. It does cost a lot of money. I think I bought it for around 3,000 US dollars, but 
I bought it to uh, use. It was certified and refurbished by Apple. So I bought it directly through the Apple store. And regarding the two terabytes of storage that I have on my laptop, it's enough for now, but sometimes I do need to delete some old photos or videos that I don't need to use. Even with my two terabytes of Dropbox cloud storage, which everything syncs together, it's still not enough uh, storage. So in the future, I'm planning to upgrade and change my cloud storage to sync. They have a cheaper price plan for six terabytes of storage. They all just keep my videos online or on the cloud and keep them off my laptop to save storage space. But I'll keep my normal or regular raw photos, the ones that I have it backed up and cataloged with Lightroom on my MacBook Pro. And going back to the minimum requirements, Lightroom and Capture One require eight gigabytes of RAM, but 16 gigabytes is recommended. For me, 32 gigabytes is good because I do a lot of video editing. And of course, if you have one of the newer processors, then you should be good. And a few accessories I use with my photo editing laptop is this Logitech or Logi mouse. This is the M240 mouse. It's pretty quiet. So it's pretty good when I'm doing video tutorials on my photography software that I teach. And then I also use this, I guess this is a 10 inch or 10 point something inch iPad Air. I guess it's version four or fourth generation. So I use this as an external screen to my, or as an extended screen to my 16 inch MacBook Pro. So there you go. I find the 16 inch MacBook Pro the best laptop for photo editing, or at least in my case, if you don't travel much or if you don't plan to edit your photos while traveling, then I recommend just getting a 13 inch or a 14 inch laptop in terms of screen size, just because you can hook it up to an extended monitor and edit your photos on a wider screen. Unfortunately, I'm in Medellin, Colombia right now, and I don't have an extended or a bigger monitor. So I do need to edit it on my MacBook Pro. And if you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. And as always, live easy, sleep breezy, and stay lovely.